building a complete internet marketing plan for 2019 and 2020. The world of internet marketing is always advancing and changing. And platforms update their services. People change their online habits. Niches grow. And new trends emerge all the time. That is why you need to develop a plan that is flexible enough as to help you adapt to these changes without you having to go back to the drawing board. Today, we are going to show you the steps you'll need to take to develop a complete internet marketing plan that will work in 2019, 2020, and beyond. Step number one, define your audience and its needs. The first step you have to take is to learn more about your audience. Knowing your audience well is what will let you target the type of internet user that is more likely to become a customer for your business. The first thing you have to do is find out where your audience hangs. Start by doing a keyword research on Google using niche keywords, product keywords, and search terms. Then take note of the top places in search results. It might be forums, blogs, or e-commerce sites. Then do the same keyword research on social media. You can do this keyword research on all social media platforms you want. Now that you find where your audience hangs, start monitoring their conversations. Focus on their sentiments, their pain points, and their opinions about the products or services that you offer. In other words, find out what it is that your audience wants of your brand so you can offer that. Lastly, you have to create a buyer persona. A buyer persona is the profile of your potential customer. To build a buyer persona, you need to find the average age of the people in your audience, the dominant gender in your audience, their buying habits, their online activities, their average level of education, their demographics and locations, what brands they discuss, and what other products, services, and niches they're interested in. Building a buyer persona will help you to better target organic traffic with your content as well as to define audience targeting when running paid advertising campaigns. Step number two, segment your audience. And once you've defined your audience, you'll find that there are different types of people in it. You have to add each one of these groups of people to a segment. All you have to do is to create audience segment lists. Most marketing and advertising channels allow you to create and save audience segments, and you can also save them to a spreadsheet. Step number three, develop a conversion funnel. You have to develop a conversion funnel if you want to drive conversions more effectively. With a conversion funnel, you can plan how you will drive a visitor to your content pages, from your content pages to your mailing list, and from your mailing list to your sales pages. To create a conversion funnel, you have to define at what point the customer journey starts. For instance, your customer journey could start on your blog, when a potential customer is searching for information about products related to those you offer. Next, you have to define the consideration stage. This is the point in which the customer starts considering your products and offers. At this stage, your potential customer might start engaging more with your brand across your channels. Next, you have to focus on the desire stage. In this stage, your potential customer actively likes your products, yet hasn't made a purchasing decision. He might need to further compare the quality, price, or other attributes of your products to other options. In this stage, you have to make an effort to capture your potential customer by offering them deep discounts, free trials, or samples. The next stage is the action stage. Here, your potential customers made the decision to buy from you, and your job is simply to make the buying process as seamless as possible. The last stage is the nurturing stage. If the customer liked your product, then he can become a repeat customer. In this stage, your job is to nurture your customer with perks, gifts, promotions, and exclusive offers. Step number four, implement a smart content marketing strategy. If you're already using content marketing, it might be time to implement some optimizations to achieve a smarter content marketing strategy. Whether it's video, articles, or visual discovery, some elements that you have to implement to enhance your content are appeal to human emotions to make your content more relatable and engaging. Use humor, drama, and nostalgia 
to hit your audience's core emotions. Optimize all your content for search by using the right type of keywords. Optimize all your content for all types of devices and operating systems. Step number five, develop a cross-platform flow. Make no mistake, all your content should be released on all your marketing channels. But you have to do it intelligently. If you only post the same message across all your channels, then it won't work. What you have to do is to optimize your message for each channel and to link your content from one channel to another. For example, you can tease a piece of content with a brief message with a single image on Twitter and add a link to the full story on Instagram, where you'll add a longer piece of content and a more captivating image inviting users to follow the link in the bio where you can direct them to a complimentary content piece on your website. Step number six, refine your email lists. Pay attention to those email subscribers that are opening and interacting with your emails. Add them to a new list and send them emails with more offers and actionable elements. Step number seven, audit and optimize. Establish a complete internet marketing calendar where you define a date to audit your campaigns. Check, test, and benchmark your results on this date and make modifications on areas where improvements are needed. For example, if one of your articles is getting low bounce rates from social media traffic but a low number of visits from search, it might mean that you need to modify the article headline and metadata.